Hello everyone and welcome back to Viral Banda. This is Ali Shavish Khan and I'm again back with another custom ROM review. And this time the phone is Xiaomi Redmi 3S or Redmi 3S Prime codename Land. And the custom ROM is Viper OS version 6.1 which is based on Android 9.0 Pi. Viper OS is actually a skin upon Lineage OS or in actual the Viper OS is based on Lineage OS. So guys in few minutes I'll tell you all of the goods and all of the bads of this custom room and if you should or should not flash this custom room I will tell you all of this in few minutes. So let me start by the UI of this room. So when you will flash this room and you will set up the phone for the first time you will not feel the Android 9.0 Pi because this room is very sluttery and glittery in terms of UI. The UI is not really cool, it will not give you the full pleasure of Android 9.0 Pi. For that I am going to show you that first of all install Mudisk after flashing the room for rooting the device and after flashing Mudisk just go to the download section of Mudisk and search for this mode which is called Pixelify here and install this mode and your room will be fully pixelified and you will feel all of the pixel features pixel animations your room will become really cool so um, the Viper OS UI is not really cool just install pixelify to pixelify a phone so guys just install Viper OS after that flash nano package of gapps android 9.0 and then install Mudisk and flash pixelify mode to feel the full pleasure of android 9.0 and then let us continue to the room. So guys we can also install the GCAM mods. So GCAM 5.1 and GCAM 6.1 is also supported by this room. But for that we have to enable camera to API which is not enabled by default in this custom room. So for that uh, actually if you flash pixelify you will also enable the camera to API. So just flash pixelify and your phone is pixelified and camera to API is enabled and you are free to install GCAM modes version 6.1 or 5.1 6.1 consists of the right side okay now let us finally come to the UI and features of this custom room so you can see the white theme here which is not comes default I just change it to white it was black all before you when you flash the room you will get the black theme uh, pre-installed and you can change it to white or any other color from the viper section uh, sorry the venom section of this room which is available in settings the venom section of this room is actually the place where you customize all of the features of this room now let us move to the venom section and i will explain you what is venom so here is the venom and you can see uh, here are the status bar modes you can hide and enable uh, status bar from here and you can customize the QS tiles and the quick pull down the status bar you can enable the quick pull down and you can control the brightness over the status bar by sliding over the status bar you can enable that tweak also we can also customize the date and time on the status bar we can select the position where we want to put the clock and uh, the date and time so uh, it is and we can uh, we can change the battery icons and the text inside or outside the battery icon and here are some examples of what battery icon and style are available you can see the circle the dotted circle big circle text hidden and the portrait one apart from that we can edit and enable and disable the carrier labels on the status bar so here are the carrier label we can uh, change it and edit it we can also enable the network traffic monitors on the status bar and we can also enable the mix settings which is Viper OS logo and uh, the roaming indicator the 4G to LTE uh, conversion or uh, the LTE to 4G conversion the next tab is for the recent application tray and uh, you can see here is the Android Pi default uh, recent applications you can search over the applications from the uh, vertical menu or the vertical drawer and uh, you can see the lock screen we can change the lock screen text and security features like the fingerprint and it also support the face detect if you have installed a nano gf package and uh, in the system you can change the theme of this uh, room as i've uh, told you in the beginning uh, like we can change the color and the accent of this room to any other color available in the color palette and we can enable the on-screen navigation bars and other buttons and we can choose volume button to wake device also and volume button to answer the call so here are the system tweaks and the battery charging lights notification indicators and the extended power menu or advanced restart menu so these were some of the best features and tweaks of this uh, viper os custom room which will help you in the daily life and yes these features were awesome 
we can uh, theme our whole room we can customize every inch of the status bar because a custom room is not a custom room without customization features <laughs> so here it is digital well-being this is the most hyped feature of Android 9.0 Pie. It will track all of the applications that you use and will give you a track detail of how much time you spend off and how much time you spend on which application. But guys, for the smoothness of this room, the uh, Viperus is not the only thing. We have also installed the custom launcher which is EV launcher from Play Store and we have also installed the Pixelify mode from Magisk modules. So these both of things made our uh, Viper OS ROM more beautiful and more special. So guys we have already talked too much about the user interface and the features of this custom ROM. Now let's talk about what is working and what's not working in this custom ROM. So I'm using this ROM from about 12 to 13 hours uh, and I'm not facing any single bug right now. Uh, yes I have used every feature of this custom ROM from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, camera, dialer and yes sound and charging and uh, many things i have used almost everything of this custom room uh, let me show you if volt is working so here is the 1299 from geo to check the available data and i have called and yes the call was there and you can see i got the sms from geo uh, because it is working the volt is also working uh, the data is also working there is no network drop there is no data drop in between and after the reboots there is no network drop actually if we talk about the fingerprint sensor then yes it is also working but uh, during the setup the fingerprint uh, does not uh, work fully you just have to skip the fingerprint verification in the uh, setup process and then after that after the setup is done you can add the fingerprints in the setting if you want to use face unlock with this room then just flash the nano gfs package for android 9.0 i will put the link in the description so guys here are some gkim portrait samples uh, taken from this device redmi 3s prime so guys this was the overall review for this uh, um, viper os version 6.1 room for redmi 3s prime give me a thumbs up and subscribe